How would you describe living out of your car? You don't get showers. I was lucky enough to be in a beach setting so I could shower uh, at the beach. Home cooked meals. I didn't have my own bed. Definitely, you know, didn't have my own bathroom. So a lot of, actually a lot of hygiene that, you know, we take for granted is something that kind of gets given up when you don't have a home. When you haven't eaten a full meal consistently in a while, eating anything in a large quantity is actually very overwhelming for your stomach. So having that first home cooked meal, I was so sick of it halfway through. A guy that I dated at the time and I decided to sell everything we owned to move out to Washington State for a job. After we got there, uh, that job ended up not actually existing. So it kind of turned into me having to live in a car in Washington State for a while around the Seattle area. After a few months of that, uh, the little journey down into Southern California is what came about. How long would you say you were living in your car for between Washington and California? About four to five months. What did you do to survive? We called it canning, and I would go around collecting uh, scrap metal and cans. So that's kind of what dictated the, the journey down there. It was a lot easier to collect cans for money, and that was kind of what paid the gas and food. So I would go around all the alleys and pretty much collect from people's recycle bins. So. I would sometimes make about 50 bucks a night, and a lot of the neighbors ended up kind of learning what I was doing, and they would actually save their uh, recyclables for me. I was saving up enough money that the idea to get a sailboat came up, or came up, sorry. The idea to get a sailboat came up, and uh, I was looking on Craigslist, and in Wilmington, this gentleman was selling his boat for about $400. The gentleman also happened to be a drug addict and had problems with gambling, so he was trying to get the boat sold to pay for other debts. I had to check the sales first. I had to sew them up by hand, which is not an easy task, and I uh, had to get a motor for the boat. I sailed all up and down the uh, coast of Southern California between Long Beach and Newport. Then that ended up taking me out to Catalina Island. Everyone, everyone was so uh, understanding of my situation, and it was nice that I, I had, I guess, more of a, a comfort there because there are other people that are um, sailors, pirates. Uh, it's a bigger boating community, so they they understand a little bit more that not everybody with a boat is a millionaire. The uh, the ex was a surfer, so the. Um, the desire to make it out to Hawaii and surf out there was kind of prioritized over fin financial needs to stay on Catalina Island. I got back in touch with my, uh, my best friend, girl that I grew up with, and uh, my mom. And I was like, I'm sick of being here. I told them my situation. And uh, they both grouped together and kind of helped scheme for me to get out of Hawaii, so they helped me buy the plane ticket so that the ex couldn't try to be controlling about it, and pretty much set up my entire return home. When I came back home and had my own bed, I slept for 16 hours, and that was the best sleep of my life. And I took the longest shower of my life. What do you feel you've accomplished since then? A lot, actually. Pulling yourself out of poverty in itself is something that a lot of people really don't get to say that they were able to do. I was able, since coming back home, to get a vehicle, to get a job, to save up money, to improve my health, able to move out into an apartment within the year, and uh, yeah, I just feel like I'm integrated back into society because uh, when I first came back home, you feel a little feral when you don't uh, have access to normal things. Every, uh, I'm trying to put this in the right way, 
Every step forward was better than doing nothing at all. Would that be something you would tell people to do, just to keep moving forward? Yeah, you have to. Definitely um, be prepared, make friends with everybody that you meet, uh, learn how to communicate with people, and uh, absolutely under no circumstances should you consider doing drugs while you're in hard times. A lot of uh, people in poverty, they will resort to drug use as a means of escape when things get a little bit too hard, but if you can get past that mentality, you're better off finding a job and getting yourself out of the situation.